What's your first question? Do you remember what the scenery was like when you grew up? Yes. No trees. It's plains. The western plains, midwest plains. Hardly any trees at all. Any trees were hand planted by the people or they're along the river. If they were hand planted you had to keep watering them because there's very little water. So and you can see for miles and miles. One spot you could see 50 miles into another state. What do you remember about your grandmothers? On my dad's side, I only saw her once, and that's when she was dying. That's all I remember about her. On my mom's side, <clears throat> She, she was small, probably like 5'2", but she was a diabetic, had to have insulin, and she stayed with us a week or two weeks. The daughters all got together and she was transferred or stayed with each daughter for a while. Um, that's what I remember most about her. What do you remember about your grandfathers? On my dad's side, I remember seeing him when he was in the casket. He had died. Um, I was young. Mm, I don't know. Somewhere around probably the five to eight age level because uh, my dad picked me up so I could look in the casket I don't ever remember him even though I'm in pictures of him being other places but I don't remember much about him on my mother's side never saw him never saw my grandfather so, okay. what do you, no, sorry, do you remember what was happening around the world when you were a kid? Like anything big? Yes. Like that? Uh, space program. And the reason I remember it is in our school, <clears throat> uh, the school, all the class, went to the gymnasium to watch launches and recoveries on TV. It was very big um, because the school was fairly small. The K through 12, we may have had less than probably 100 students for K through 12 since there was only 10 in my class. But that was the big world events. That and the Cuban Missile Crisis. Those were the two big things I remember. Because the Cuban Missile Crisis is because we had to practice uh, nuclear uh, war on how to duck and hide. You all got underneath your desk. But anyway. What were the buildings like when you were a kid? All the buildings were made of wood. Um, not well insulated. Most of the buildings had a white uh, It was actually a white asbestos shingle on the outside, and they broke very quickly if you hit them. Uh, no insulation in the walls. Um, the school I went to, the big school, was made of brick. 
but every other building, almost all of them, were made of wood. Describe your school and what you did there. This two schools. The one room schoolhouse is where I went until probably fifth or sixth grade. Yeah, something like that. Then we went into that one room schoolhouse was a mile away from the house. We walked to and from school every day. Except if there was a blizzard. That one room schoolhouse had no running water, no bathrooms. So every day somebody brought water to the school. And the bathrooms were outside. And the school, the one room, was heated with a wood stove. Well, it was actually coal. We heated with coal. Wood and corn cobs were used to start the coal. The other school, where I graduated from 8th grade and high school, was K through 12. It was a brick building two levels with the gym half a level below the first floor. High school was on the top floor and all the other grades K through 8 was on the bottom floor. Uh, heated by hot water radiators coal. Coal was delivered to run the furnace and hot water was heated. It was all brick. We had a gymnasium. And that was it. And a swing set out back. Played in the gym in the winter. It's now a private home. They sold it for five thousand dollars. What kinds of things did you do for fun? Uh, what we did for fun as a kid, we became imaginary, innovative, imaginary friends. Uh, I personally, because I lived on a farm, the closest neighbor was a mile, two miles away, so they didn't come to play often. Um, played by myself, mostly outside. Um, we, we could play cowboys and Indians and bandits and all that. Uh, as you well know, the cap gun I have, I used it an awful lot. Uh, my younger brother and I would go work in the shop, build things. Um, he actually made a motorized little car. We did put a one, a one piston kick start. Briggs and Stratton on it. It's an old wash machine motor. We took and made a little car out of it. It was kick-started with your foot. Anyway, go ahead. What was your favorite radio show? Long Ranger. We would come home from school, do chores, and when it came time, I don't know, around 4.30, my younger brother and I would go to the radio, which I have, and we would sit there and listen to the Long Ranger. And then when it was done, we'd turn it off because the radio ran by battery. We didn't have electricity at the time. And when we studied at home, we had a... Uh, <clears throat> Not a kerosene lamp, but it's like a Coleman lamp you had to pump up. We set at the table that I have at the house and study.
What was your favorite meal on the farm? The best meal was Thanksgiving. Because we'd have a turkey, mashed potatoes, green beans, cream style corn, cake, and lots of turkey to eat. That was the best meal of the year. And it was geared toward being a meal. What were your chores like? What were my chores like? Come home from school <clears throat> in the winter time. Feed the chickens, gather the eggs. Feed the pigs. Round up the sheep and make sure they're in. And uh, because we had coyotes that would kill them, we'd round up sheep, put them in. Then one of us would walk out into the pasture, maybe a half a mile away, and uh, gather up all the milk cows and bring them in. Uh, if it was a good day, we got to ride the horse. Otherwise, we walked. And we generally had dinner. After we um, milked the cows. Now, milking the cows was a family effort. Everybody worked because two or three would be milking cows, another two or one would be carrying the milk to what we called the milk house, and then the separator would separate the milk into cream and skim milk. And the skim milk was fed to the hogs, and the cream was sold, it was our egg and cream money. That's what we bought little goodies with. In your childhood, what was the best event? The best event was Christmas. The reason Christmas was good it was generally the only time we ever got toys. So, that's why when you get toys once a year, if you're any kind of kid at all, you take care of them. That's why I have all of my old toys, every one of them. You know, from trucks to guns to... Uh, Well, I have this one. It's not a puzzle. It's an indoor horseshoe game that's rubber and stuff. Horseshoes so you don't bust everything up. But uh, I have all my old toys. But Christmas was. You know, you got all the Christmas tree lights. It was cool, cold out. Christmas programs. Best event of year. Everybody was happy. Christmas was there, and it was good. What was the most embarrassing event in your childhood? The most what? Embarrassing. Hmm. Hmm. Well... I don't know if I had one. That's an interesting question. Would there like be anything you would do differently? No. I don't know if I was embarrassed. Wow. I'm sure I had one. Let me have to think on this. The most embarrassing thing in my childhood Hmm. I don't know. I have a lot of events, but I don't know what's embarrassing. Let me think. Hmm.
a lot of things happen, but I don't know if they're embarrassing. We can go with, uh, hmm. <laughs> Have I ever been embarrassed? Probably. But I don't, I don't know what would be embarrassing. Anyway, go ahead. What would your, what would the birthdays be like? Uh... The birthdays that I remember were not celebrated on my birthday. They were cakes and birthdays that we got mostly during the summer uh, because that's when people could get around. My birthday's in November and there would be snow and people couldn't get around. So we would have them, and roller skating was one in a building that had a wooden floor. That's what I remember. The other one is having uh, at a friend's house, all of us get together, and there was a group of kids that got together around my age. There's like four or five of us, and we'd all get together. The parents would get us together and we'd have a kids party. But probably the roller skating one is the one I remember the most. Well, thank you for <laughs> having me interview you. Sound okay? <laughs> Action! Let's go!